metals in the upper oxidation curve can be reduced by the oxidation elements lying lower side. So according to the Lingam diagram, at any point, any element lowing, lying, you know, above it can be reduced by the lower lying element. Like here, carbon, all these above elements can be reduced by carbon. But what about the elements lying lower side? So what about these elements? Aluminium, zinc, or anyways we can reduce by high temperatures. Like 1600 degrees Celsius, definitely carbon can be used for aluminium, but at a temperature is very high, 1600 plus magnesium oxide, 2000 plus degrees Celsius. It's not very practical. So how to reduce these elements, aluminium, magnesium, for these elements? Electrons is supplied externally by applying an excessive potential in electrolytic cell via reduction of molten metal salts is done. We are supplying externally in the electrons and the ions get reduced on a our cathode. Difference in the electrode potential is equal to metal ions to be reduced, metal ions to be oxidized, metal deposit on the third side where electrons are supplied externally, and the potential difference should be sufficient to compensate the standard electrode potential of particular element. So delta G will be equal to minus N standard electrode potential and Faraday's constant. In a simple this electrolysis, ions are discharged on the cathode. Here we'll be having a all Herlot aluminium reduction process and its electrodes are made of carbon, this graphite anode and graphite cathode. We heat it up to melt the alumina at around 950 degrees Celsius. and then pass the current through it. What happens? At an node, carbon combines with the oxides of alumina, it melts, and oxide combined to the carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide further get oxidized to carbon dioxide. Whatever electrons come, they move toward graphite cathode and cathode aluminium got reduced to give us the aluminium metal which is molten and get collected out all alkali metals and many p block elements are purified using the electrolyte methods In the electrolytic reduction of aluminium, alumina is mixed with a cryolite Na3AlF6 or calcium fluoride to lower the melting point and to improve the conductivity. 
oxygen is liberated at anode here. For every kg of aluminum produced using the calculating method, half kg of carbon block is used. It goes out as a carbon monoxide or dioxide. Next is oxidation reduction. Like metal obtained in elemental form with reduction, some extraction are based on oxidation, particularly for non metals. Here we have a chloride, which is nothing but sodium chloride solution in water. After electrolysis, electrolytic method, we are getting a sodium hydroxide and hydrogen depletion at cathode and chloride chlorine will liberate as a gas on anode. The energy of this reaction is this is not spontaneous because of delta G is positive. So what we'll do we apply external potential let's calculate how much it should be delta G is equal to minus NFP, N is 2 here, 2 electrons. E is, we have to calculate, F is Faraday's constant, 96,500 coulomb per mole. So E comes out to be minus 2.2 volt. We supply it to the external EMF, which is greater than 2.2. Using it, we, go, we reduce it, so we oxidize. Chloride to fluorine. This is brine, this is nothing but sodium chloride saturated solution, and hydrogen goes to cath our cathode, chlorine goes to anode, and during these such electrolyte methods, we have experimentally observed that. Excess potential to overcome these having certain hindrance reactions. So we have to supply potential from external circuit higher than 2.2, which is called over potential. So over potential is nothing but the excess voltage that has to be applied across electrodes to, or we can say, reduce. The species of today's species under concentration. Displacement reactions. Extraction of gold and silver involves leaching of metals with cyanide. This is the oxidation reaction. And later on, these precious metals will be recovered from this solution, leaching solution, using some cheaper metal, like we have here, gold leaching, we are getting the AU cyanide 2 negative. Finally, we react this solution of leaching with zinc to get pure gold back. And cyanozincate solution 